All right, so if you signed up to do the green room or the AV, you're gonna log into StreamYard. Uh, it requires two-factor authentication, so we'll have to log in at the beginning of your shift. Uh, you can put in your name, you can put AV tech or whatever you want. Um, you can stop the camera and put in an avatar of yourself if you want. Um, but unless you pop onto screen, which you may need to, uh, hopefully not, uh, you should, you know, just do whatever you're comfortable with. There's other settings too, like virtual backgrounds. Uh, you need a green screen and stuff. It's camera intensive. Uh, so you can mess with these if you want to. Um, but in general, you shouldn't have to do any of that. So just click enter studio. When you enter, you enter into the queue and you're not part of the stream yet. And you really don't want to be part of the stream. Uh, at that point, you can provide the, uh, if see if there's anybody in here, because uh, you're an admin, there's currently nobody in here yet. Uh, and you can provide messages to them if they're in there and they're waiting for you. Uh, if you're doing green room, you probably will need to pop on and just say, hey, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can see you. Yes, I can see your presentation. You might need to like walk them through finding the share icon at the bottom of the screen so that they can share their slides um, or do a screen share. If they don't have speaker notes and it's in Google Slides and they don't use animation or videos, they can do the direct sharing from Google Slides. If they have animation or video or they need to see their speaker notes, we recommend doing a screen share. So anyway, uh, buttons across the bottom here are just orientation of how you arrange two speakers. Uh, if there is two speakers or how you arrange two speakers in a presentation. If there's a presentation, uh, they're all pretty self-explanatory icons. Don't hit leave studio, obviously. Uh, you can change your settings again right there. Up in the top, there's this go live. Uh, and so you'll obviously hit that at the beginning of the day. So for branding, we're gonna have some overlays loaded up like this. Uh, and then of course there's like our logo and stuff. So, and backgrounds, we'll have a bunch of different uh, choices uh, for you to leverage. And so what you're gonna do is when it is not the time for the speaker to start yet, you will put up one of the overlays that has like a thanks to our uh, sponsors. So there'll be different overlays you can pick. Um, we'll probably just have one background picked out and you can just leave it on that. So you're gonna wanna hang out in private chat and say, hey, are you ready? And uh, I, before they're ready, or sorry, before the talk, this year it's gonna be different because we wanna be broadcasting live continuously. So the beginning of the day before the first talk of your shift, you're gonna do go live. And when I hit go live, the broadcast is gonna be there. So then once you hit the go live and it says end broadcast, you are live. And so you can bring the MC up. If the MC says that they're ready in private chat, the MC will say, thanks to all of our lovely sponsors. Our next talk is going to be X, Y, Z. In some cases, they may have a sponsor deck or a, a slide that the MC is trying to share. So you could use the dual mode to show the MC with the presentation. When they're done introducing the speaker, you'll first bring up the speaker's presentation and then you will bring up the speaker and then you will drop your the MC out of the zone. We have a cat, cats are adorable. Uh, when the speaker is done, you'll wanna find out from the MC in the private chat if the MC is reading the question. So if this is the end, the MC would come up and I would read the question to our speaker here. And the speaker has you know, a feather and that is obviously very important. And that gives them the opportunity to answer. 
um, or the MC might just present the questions to the speaker in private chat. The MC and the speaker are going to work them out themselves. Then when everybody is done, there's the remove button and you just click the remove and everybody is out. Now, last year we had you end broadcast in between. This year we're not doing that. This year everybody's off screen, they can't be heard. So you can just put up an overlay again. Uh, don't recommend the countdowns because they make noise and you have to listen to them. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you will start the broadcast at the beginning of your shift. You'll get a couple of talks. Then at the lunch break, when we're switching over AV people, you'll hit end broadcast and the button will transition. And that's it.